I do up here, and well, we're all getting ready for the Extreme Rules WWE pay-per-view, and it's shaping up to be a pretty good one, right, don't you think? Do what was getting excited about it, and well, even if you don't have the WWE Network, the WWE is telling you that for the month of April, it's free, so everybody can watch it. There's no bitching, there's no complaining, everybody can watch Extreme Rules, yeah! Going to be excited about that, but... What we're more excited about is the matches. That's right. There's a whole lot of matches that we got to talk about. And do up what to tell you what me think is going to happen right now. So let's get into it. Yeah! So we've got the kickoff show. Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, the WWE Tag Team Champions, are going up against the New Day. And frankly, glad this is the kickoff show because we've seen it like 25 times already on Monday Night Raw. And, well, Doo-Wop is going to stick with Cesaro and Tyson Kidd staying the WWE Tag Team Champions. I was really hoping on Monday Night Raw that the New Day was going to lose to the Lucha Dragons. Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. Because that would have been a fucking great match. Lucha Dragons versus Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. But didn't happen. So, Doo-Wop is sticking with Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. Stop knocking the camera around down there. Roscoe, if you're going to say hello, just come up and say hello. Come, come say hello to everybody. Yeah, it is. There's Roscoe. Roscoe, who are you picking? Are you picking Tyson Kidd and Cesaro or are you picking the new day? He doesn't give a shit. The next matchup we're going to talk about is the Divas Champion. Nikki Bella is going up against Naomi. Yeah! Again, you know Doop doesn't give a shit about the Divas. And, well, me really fucking hate Nikki Bella. I know all you guys like her because she's pretty and she got the big boobs and all that. Doop doesn't care. But we do think that she's going to stay the WWE Divas champion. So, sorry, Naomi. Nothing for you there. What do you think? Do you like her because she got the big boobs? See? He yawned. He hates Nikki Bella, too. So the next match that duo was going to talk about is the Chicago Street Fight. Yeah, go get that cat, Roscoe. It's the Chicago Street Fight. The lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. Yeah, see, we're getting angry about it, ain't we, Roscoe? It's fighting Luke Harper. I kind of hope, hope Dean Ambrose is going to win this, right? You want to talk about a Chicago street fight beating some ass? Yeah! That fits right into the lunatic fringe. Dean Ambrose. He's a lunatic and he's going to get in a Chicago street fight. He kicked the shit out of Luke Harper. Yeah! Picking Dean Ambrose for this match. Kiss my arse! Yeah, fella! That's right. We got Sheamus fighting Dolph Ziggler in a kiss me arse match. What the hell is that? So, whoever wins the match is going to pull down his pants and show his bum bum and say, Go ahead, kiss me, horse. Yeah! Well, fucking me. I sure hope Dolph Ziggler wins this match because it sure would be funny to watch Sheamus have to kiss Dolph Ziggler's bum bum with those dumb little braids he's got hanging off his face rubbing up against Dolph Ziggler's bummy bum. I really do hope Dolph Ziggler wins this one. Yeah! Kiss me, horse! Sheamus, ready to bum bum! Now, for the 25th thousandth time, we're gonna watch the big show fight Roman Reigns. Except this time, it's the last bugger standing. And you, we all know the last man standing. You gotta beat that bugger down enough where he's gonna lay down for 10 seconds. That should be pretty easy, right? Just knock Big Show over. He'd be like a turtle on his back. He'd be like, I can't get up. I can't get up. I'm a big fat Big Show. We can't get up. <laughs> really, really fucking hoping that Roman Reigns wins this match. Because why the fuck is Big Show still around? Fuck you, Big Show. Go away. We really hope Roman Reigns wins this match right here. Yeah. You can't see do hop Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, well, we've got the champion, the U.S. champion, John Cena, fighting Rusev for the third pick. Roscoe, 
Stop hitting the table and knocking the camera around. If you're going to say hello, come say hello. Don't just beat up the table. You can't see Roscoe because he's under the table. So we got John Cena fighting Rusev for the third pay-per-view in a row. These buggers are going at it, except that now this time it's a Russian chain match where they're going to... One bug is going to be changed to the other bugger, and they got to touch all four corners consecutively. Nobody cares. Why the fuck would you have to do that? That is absolutely terrible. He should have to beat him within an inch of his life till he's bloody and dead with that fucking chain. That would be fucking extreme and fun. I don't know who's going to win this match. I mean, I want Rusev to get the belt back and be dominant. But he lost at WrestleMania, so is it just going to be back and forth, back and forth with the belt? I don't know. I want Rusev to win, but I think John Cena is going to win. So we'll go with that. John Cena for the win, but I sure fucking hope Rusev is going to win. So however you want to call that. Now this is an interesting match. We've got the Intercontinental Champion, Daniel Bryan, who's half injured and dead at this point. I mean, he hasn't been on Raw. He, he, hasn't been, he wasn't on SmackDown. Spoiler alert. And he's supposed to fight Bad News Barrett. Well, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Duop doesn't think that this match is even going to fucking happen because of Daniel Bryan's health. And if the bugger knew what was smart with him, with his neck injury, and it's bothering him again, he wouldn't even fucking take part in the match, and he'd just give the belt away to somebody else. Really sucks for Daniel Bryan, because we all like him, right? Yes, yes, yeah! And, well, due to uh, his health and his neck injury, uh, who knows if he's even going to wrestle? Hard match to call. Probably going to be a win for the Bad News Barrett getting the belt back because, like I said, health issues with Daniel Bryan. I don't even think the match is going to happen, now. Which brings us to the last match on the card. The Viper, Randy Orton who can't use the RKO, is going to fight the champion, Seth Rollins, in the steel cage match at Extreme Rules. Sister Olivia, can you please get your face <laughs> out of my camera? We're talking about the WWE Championship here. Seth Rollins versus the Randy Orton in a steel cage where the RKO is not allowed. Bugger me! Roscoe's trapped outside, and Seth Rollins and Randy Orton are going to be trapped in the cage at Extreme Rules. This match should be fucking awesome. And Seth Rollins will win. How? I don't know. Why? Because he's the champ. Yeah! Well, buggers. That's the card for Extreme Rules, and that's what Duo thinks is going to happen. Me is awful excited for two reasons. Number one, because it's free for all you buggers that don't have the WWE Network. You can watch it. And two, because Seth Rollins and Randy Orton in a steel cage. Duo is very fucking excited about this match, and me should be, and you should be, because it's for the championship and it's in a steel cage. Yeah! So, all you buggers... Please like and leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't because there's always great videos to do up. Yeah!